Hello again and welcome to David Wheeler Models. Right, today we're very exciting. Uh, we are reviewing the Badger 3D 172 scale US M98 bulldozer. Now these things are, are chunky, they're huge. Um, I'll put it against uh, one of the British uh, fighting vehicles in a minute just to show you how big these things are. But another lovely model from Badger, uh, this one in 72, my favourite small scale. Um, it does come with teeth. Um, unfortunately, uh, when I was making it, I lent it on the teeth and snapped them off. So that one's on me, Badger. And apparently the ones with the teeth are the better of the vehicles. Um, the M9 in service, not everyone's favourite. Apparently it's a very unreliable, bit of a pig to handle. Um, and a unique feature is that basically what it does is it draws earth um, up into the uh, bucket there to actually then give it the, the kind of weight and purchase to be able to bulldoze whatever it's doing. Um, used in the 1991 Gulf War for what they call berm busting, which are the big sort of uh, anti-tank sand defences that the uh, Iraqi Republican Guard built uh, to protect themselves. These were used... Uh, to good measure um, in, in that conflict uh, to, to punch their way through. Uh, but like I said, not everyone's favourite and sort of quite unreliable in service, as I understand. This is a lovely model. As you can see, I've already painted this one. Uh, they do take a lot of punishment, as you can see. I've hopefully replicated some of that in the wear and tear and various modelling techniques on the side of the vehicle all around and the sort of dirt and muck and mould and water that gets in the bucket moisture. Um, so all in all, a lovely rendering, um, some fine detail there. I'll turn it around and I'll put it on the turntable a little bit later. As always, it comes with a few holes in the bottom, which of course I've sealed up, but hey, who sees the bottom of these things? Um, mainly as well intended or originally intended for gamers. So um, like I said, you know, being 3D at the moment, you can't really open up sort of hatches and things. However, I've been speaking with Badger. Um, they are a wonderful company. They're listening to the uh, to the modelling community. And uh, I understand that they really want to now appeal to modellers. So they are really thinking about things like uh, giving options in the future for opening turrets, adding a more, bit more sort of animation uh, to the models for uh, dioramas and that kind of thing. And lovely, you know, refreshing to hear that they are listening to the community and, and, and want to... Um, provide better models you know i mean they're already great but they want to make them even better um so isn't that lovely to hear being a small company as well it's going to be possibly some time before these things happen and fair enough uh they've got resources to organize and everything costs money of course so you know i hope that modeling uh, community supports the company and you know sort of buys these lovely models um I'm, I'm not sort of affiliated to them in any way um but being a model of some just 40 years you know what do i know don't know a lot um, isn't it lovely to see this in 72 scale? They do other scales as well, such as 100, 187, 176, 156, 148 and 135. Um, I believe at the moment this subject is quite well served in the 35th scale. Um, however, like I said, isn't it lovely to see it in 72? So just a quick few quick things uh, that I've added to the model. Like I said, loads of techniques here. I mean, it's been painted, spray painted. Uh, just with a sort of a not a very expensive airbrush um uh you know just cheapy really but the but it you know the finish is overall i was very impressed with it um i've painted it in the model air vallejo which are great paints uh us desert armor okay and things like the little chrome whoops the chrome uh hydraulics on the side there i've painted with this uh chrome silver um for markers and you can well i've brush painted it but you can use that in an airbrush i understand um recommended to me by barbatus rex uh, who's on youtube and honestly have a look at his stuff uh, he gives you some great uh, tips and hints and some good techniques and materials to use in your modeling and spray painting he's given me a lot of confidence with my spray painting so thanks again to uh, barbatus thoroughly nice chap i think he's based in new york um, but obviously with YouTube, it goes all around the world, doesn't it? So just a few things I've added, um, just a little bit of extra detail that I wanted to add. So I've put in the smoke discharges there, which don't come with the kit or the, the, the print. Um, and I, I you know, understand that they, they used, um, obviously, if they need to make a quick quick exit anywhere, they pump out the, the smoke, dis, uh, you know, smoke cartridges 
and then I can make a hasty exit, usually backwards, of course. Um, I've added a few uh, what we call pioneer tools. Uh, most armored fighting vehicles come with a sort of a spade and a pickaxe handle. Um, so I've painted those up. And just at the back there, I've added in, I believe that is a door. So I've just put in some decals to make it, you know, give it a bit more detail to that back wall there. And I've added in a wooden box or two wooden boxes from the, I believe it's the Matchbox 76 LRDG set, but just um, just a few sort of things there. And uh, I understand they sort of have these sort of coloured kind of, I don't know whether they're fuel, oil or water cans, but uh, I've seen some photos of them with these sort of cans of things, probably lubricants and fluids and things they use to keep the vehicle moving. So there it is. Once again, a lovely model by Badger. Thank you very much again, Badger. Nice to hear you listening to the community. Uh, so nice and refreshing to hear. And just to quickly show you how big the M9 Ace Bulldozer is, I'm going to put it against the UK CVRT British Army Spartan that you might have seen on this channel already. And they are in the same scale. I know the CVRTs are quite small and nippy, uh, built for speed and to get in and out of a conflict quickly. But it just shows you how big that thing is. I mean, it's, it's as wide as a Challenger tank, so it really is a beast. Uh, of a machine and like I said um, they do come with teeth uh, the better models are have the teeth which are more popular with the crews um, but unfortunately uh, my modeling skills soon paid well soon put paid to those unfortunately I lent it up to do something and snap them all off silly me that was on me badger um, so nicely nicely detailed and lots of weathering uh, techniques being used there and in theatre often they replace wheels with ones from other vehicles I think, just trying to think uh, what tank they use from the chassis. Um, I think it's a pattern tank of all things because these have been around since the 80s. So the pattern would have been in service then. Um, so they, you know, obviously they take bits from other, other tanks in theatre. Hence why often they have different colour wheels. And obviously, oh, I've added the spare wheel as well from a, a 72 tank kit. Um, so a little bit more detail added in there. I've, I've also used the Tamiya uh, clear green uh, to give the kind of reflective uh, glass panels there they're uh, bulletproof I understand which is why they have that sort of sort of color to them and sheen um, and that's pretty much it just one little story um, I understand the reading about the M9 in service um, one uh, one of the crew decided one day to kind of write the phrase dirt diggler in the bucket there uh, and then realized that he shouldn't have been shouldn't have doing done that really um, you know while, while he was serving and he was about to get chewed out by his superior um, and was fortunately lucky to find that by the time they'd used the bulldozer there, the dozer blade, the letters had been, you know, obviously removed off by all the, all the scuff and all the, all the uh, detritus that they were moving. Um, but as a, as a kind of homage tribute, um, they often now, or did, I don't know if they're still in service, painted the words Dirt Diggler in there um, as a tribute to this uh, poor chap that was going to get a right sort of telling off basically for doing it. Um, not in the knowledge that obviously by the time they use the blade, um, it, it disappears. Um, I was actually thinking of doing that. Uh, would have been a bit of a job in this scale. Uh, might have been nice, but uh, I didn't get around to doing that. Maybe I could have used a fine nib ink pen or something. But anyway, food for thought and maybe for the future. Um, but uh, just once again, thank you again, Badger. Lovely model. And I'll put it on the turntable for everyone to see. So I'm going to give you a quick spin here. And very nice too. There we go. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.